A little while ago, I did a video where I tried to see if a family could survive on a child's income. It did not go well. So this time, I want to see if I can do it with a teen. Obviously, teens in The Sims 2 have more ways to earn money than children do. So I'm going to see if I can do it with a larger family. So there's going to be two adults, another teen, two children and a toddler. I am a bit worried about this one. I haven't tested how it's going to go. So we're going to see if it can work. But let's jump into it. So this is the less family. And this is our teen, actually. I don't know why she's already crying. But I called them that because... She's penniless. The rest of them are just them, weirdly. We've got dad, mum. I just worked out why she was crying. Paul, Sally, and annoying, because I'm almost certain this kid is going to be annoying as fuck. He's already starting to be. You're so desperate for attention. Pack it in. Anyway, the house is pretty huge, but very empty. It is a pre-made house. I've just tweaked it a little bit. So we do have an easel if we need to make extra money. We don't have a job yet, obviously. This is Paul's bedroom, the little goth. Just loves his dark room. Can you stop? I'm going to... I'm hugging you. Peace is always the answer, Paul. No! Right, do you know what? Go in your room, but Penny, you lock the door. Allow me only. <laughs> You'll be allowed out when you chill the fuck out, okay? So, we've got zero simoleons. No job, but I suppose I can get you painting while we wait for the newspaper. We already have a newspaper. I don't know what I'm talking about. Stop painting and find a job. If you're an artist watching this and you want to paint instead of your current job, please don't take that to heart. So, we'll be a dishwasher and we'll pay 63 simoleons a day, which that's like 20 simoleons an hour. Now, I don't know the conversion rate for simoleons, but that is a bag of shit. But what skills do I need? I do need a friend as well, but I need cooking. Yeah, cooking. Okay. <laughs> I kind of thought there'd be more than just that. Study cooking. I'm going to unlock the door for Paul. Who probably doesn't need the door unlocking. He's having a great time in there. We do have some neighbours. Good. Well, I know we have neighbours, but I mean, we have some neighbours that turned up. <laughs> I'm going to become friends with Franny Family, who I imagine is someone that I made. I just don't know what for. I just got electrocuted. <laughs> I got electrocuted and I'm immediately running to shit myself. What's going on? I mean, you would shit yourself. I get it. Yes, you're going to smell. You've been cooked. You are right near the toilet. You've, you're in the squat position. If you just inch backwards a little bit, you've, you'd have done it in the toilet. The irony of you going to clean up that diaper when you need one shitty ass. Meanwhile, mum, you can become friends with Franny. Because dad's busy getting fried. Mum, I just need you to make one friend. Okay? It's going really well. She's enjoying what you've got to say. Penny, you need to eat and you need to socialise. Fortunately, Dad has dropped you a sandwich. That's nice, isn't it? Considering the backstory was going to be like the parents that really care about you. But clearly he does. He served you first. We should be able to manage the bills, I think. Especially if we get promotions. But it's when we start to run out of food and we need to stop the fridge that is going to become a more of an issue. And I forgot that this toddler is going to become a child during this playthrough. Which means we're going to have two kids to look after for homework. In terms of homework, sorry. And that means it's going to be harder to keep the kids. And if I lose the kids, then I guess that means I've failed. I haven't made a family survive. It's 10pm, so I'm not going going to have you be in a bad mood tomorrow. Get in your shitty little bed that I've made you share with your sister. So this is meant to be like, that's the sister's room, the younger sister room. And that's why it's so childish. But she just had a bed thrown in there because the parents do not care about her. I haven't given any backstory as to why they don't care about her. But maybe she just has a really grating personality and that's none of our business. And there we go. Day one, a success. Because tomorrow I might get a promotion straight away. We've got our one friend. We've got cooking. We've got more cooking skill than we need. 6am, look at those needs. I don't have to worry about hunger because she'll eat at school. So I can focus on painting. No, I can't. She's too hungry. So she's stealing Paul's food and I'm glad because Paul, I'm not going to lie to you. You've been a bit of a prick the entire time we've been doing this. Meanwhile, you two slobs, be a parent. How's the kid doing? All right, honestly. I thought it'd be worse. I was going to buy a potty then, but I can't because I don't have any money at all. Dad, stop talking to mum. Mum, go to bed because you're doing my head and you're tired. That way you can eat without you just constantly chatting his ear off. May a yapperton of yapsville over here. And then I can teach you how to walk. Not talk. I don't want you to talk to me. We called you annoying for a reason. And I imagine if you vocalise your thoughts, they'll be annoying too. Never mind. I'm not a good parent. He went straight to bed. Oh, he's not even going to sleep. He's just relaxing. Had a tough day at work, have you, dad? But I need to get some fun before I go to work if I want to get a promotion today. So let's go for a little dance. Oh, I just realised I should have painted. It would have got the fun up faster and we would have got some creativity skill. But whatever. We're going to work. Oh, Sally, you brought a friend home from school that you've just clattered in the face of the ball, you nasty bastard. Oh, good. She did it back. But I'm about to ruin your fun because I'm helping you do your homework whether you want to or not. Oh, dad just got the bills. How much are they? 122. Great. <laughs> I have no money at all. Brilliant. Hopefully we do get promoted today. What is our performance bar looking like? It's not as good as I thought it would go there. Penny has returned from work and she earned 63 simoleons today. Well, fuck me. Okay, mum, can you help me with my homework too? I need to be an overachiever and you're really embarrassing yourself at the same time. So if you could stop and help me, that'd be brilliant. There we go. That should make homework a lot easier for us. Now I'm going to 
paint for fun because <laughs> the money I've earned is not good. Dad, you've got in the wrong bed again. <laughs> How have you not grasped this by now? Why is no one looking after themselves? You've got so much free time and they're all just dying. I mean, he's not dying. He's just bored. Penny's finished a painting and sells for five simoleons. I'm not going to turn my nose up at it as much as I usually would because that's like 5% of our net worth. Oh shit, go to bed. <laughs> you got a busy day tomorrow supporting this entire family on your back. I don't know why everyone keeps going to the wrong bed. Go over here. You are joking me. That is the second time you pissed there. You're so close to the toilet. <laughs> oh, you are so embarrassing. Right now. Well, mum, I guess you're never getting out the bath. This is where dad sleeps now next to his piss. I'm going to make you serve breakfast for everyone because you're a terrible mum and I'm forcing you to be a good one. And you're hungry. And you burnt it, for Christ's sake. You have your one plate and then go to sleep. Because I don't know why you won't look after yourself. When this girl, who is the only reason this family is afloat, is grafting her ass off and she still manages to look after her needs and do homework. I will paint until school comes. School is now. <laughs> None of those sentences made any sense. I'm mildly panicking, I think. Sally, you can walk to school because I'm honestly sick of the way you stink. Get in that grungy bath. There you go. Off you go. You can eat at school. I'll leave the toddler with the parents of the year over here, just still in bed. Ooh, it's fundraiser time at school again, isn't it always? And Penny is taking it upon herself to do something special. She borrows the family's top secret cookie recipe and her cooking is a smash. Penny earns so much money that the school reward her with a 100 simoleon check. Thank God for that. Apparently she's checked it with the bank already because with that money is in our account. But that's good because I can finally pay the bills. 122. Penny's doing extremely well in school school. Good for her. Time wasted celebrating is time wasted earning. So put your report card on the fucking floor, Penny. Paint until work. She's literally, she has wasted a full hour. Look at that. Okay, this is good. She's got a couple of seconds to paint and then she can go in the car. I understand why this guy's beeping so much now. I didn't as a kid, but I've literally left him out here for 45 minutes. No wonder he's beeping for me constantly. And I'm just walking there. <laughs> I'm in no rush. Oh, never mind. I am. I'm gonna keep you on top of your homework, Sally, because that means I could ignore you a bit more in the future. You two are so weird. Get in your own bed for start but also look after yourself. Go and watch TV with this random teenager that's just in your house for some reason. And I've been promoted to a drive through clerk. So out of the frying pan and into the fire, you don't have to clean anymore, but dealing with hungry commuters and teen pranks will either make you or break you. Don't forget to smile. So we earn 84 simoleons a day and we got a bonus of 168 simoleons and that is good because we are probably going to run out of food soon. Let me check the food supplies. Yeah, we're at 71 out of 200 and it's been two days, I think. <laughs> now, Penny, what skills do you need for the next promotion? Oh, you've got them all, apart from logic. You need three friends more. Well, you've got the day off work tomorrow, Penny, so yeah, best get chatty. Where's that teenager? I need you to be my friend. And then does anyone else know anyone else? Franny's going to become a f not a friend soon. Do I have a phone in this house? Oh, shit. I don't think I bought one. I did think it had been weirdly quiet other than the constant salsa music that one's only 50 so i can get that so you call franny franny doesn't own a phone brilliant yeah mm, great <laughs> everything's starting to go wrong everyone's getting really tired and hungry and she's blocking the fridge because she's so tired wake up go to that bed you two get in your own bed i know that's the fancy one but it's not for you oh, i've got school in an hour and i forgot to do my homework that's not as important as sally doing her homework though and i think she did it i hope it doesn't look like it's there so it probably is done i always forget about this interaction but if one of your sims wakes up before the other one and they don't have anywhere they need to go. They'll just gently hold them until the next morning. And I really like the little details like that in The Sims 2. EA, if you're watching, please bring back details. I just realised pretty soon... Oh God, tonight, I'm going to need another single bed. So this money that I've got, as nice as it feels to have, isn't enough. I need to buy a bed for the kid or we sleep in shifts or someone sleeps on the sofa. I haven't decided. Get the mail. Penny brought a friend home. Good girl. We need all the friends we can get if we want that promotion. Otherwise, this house is going to start falling apart even faster than it already is. Okay, you two play kicky bag until your friends. It should build it quickly. Oh, I've got work today. Well, well, at least I got one extra friend, I guess. Let's go to work. Annoying. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. <sighs> Why do you even look annoying already? <laughs> Where have I put the bills? I want to look at them before I say I'm going to pay them. 80 simoleons. Okay, Sally's been paid. That's four simoleons profit today after paying off our bills. I'm just going to make Paul clean for us. 
Because the house was getting bad, and I feel like I'm getting back on top of it now. Oh, no. Stomach growling. Restock the fridge by ordering groceries over the phone or online. I don't think I can do this. I'm actually a bit worried. No wonder no one's using their own bed. Ask to leave. <laughs> Why are you here? It's four o'clock in the morning as well, and he's just inviting himself to someone else's house. Okay, Sally, this one's on you. I'm so sorry. Your parents won't go because they'll starve if they do. So I need you to walk to a community lot and go and buy some food. The music that's playing sounds like real music. So I'm just going to stay nice and zoomed out just in case it is and I get a copyright strike. If I buy 598 simoleons worth of food, even though I've only got 252, will they just let me do it? I'm just going to quickly full prop delete the stereo. <laughs> Penny can't afford that. Stop talking to me in the third person. Let's try this again. What can I afford? Do I really want to spend every penny on groceries? That is literally all I've got. 252. And will it only fill the fridge up halfway? No, oh God, this is harder than I thought it was going to be. Whatever. Just go home. Or play a basketball to make new friends. This isn't building my relationship. There's just a clique of girls over here just watching me not actually doing anything. And I feel like that was a sarcastic clap. Joanne, oh, you a teen? Let's be friends. I'm not <laughs> I'm not mad at you anymore. Oh, she left. Joanne. Oh, well, I know someone else now. Let's go home. I need to get a shower before I go to school because I stink. Oh, that's quite sad to look at. Look how outcasted I am from the rest of the family. I'm back with groceries, family. Not enough groceries, but some. Why are you platinum aspiration annoying? Why is he having such a good time, whereas everyone else is really struggling? There we go. No. What is wrong with this man? <laughs> Why are you so incontinent? And don't get in someone else's bed, you dirty little bastard. Go get a shower. Oh, times are hard. She won't wait for a bath, so she's just going to use the sink. All right. <laughs> you do whatever you need to do. But please... Serve everyone some food. Both of you are starving. And I know there was no food in the fridge that time. But even when you had food, you were starving yourself. Is it in protest? Are you protesting yeah. getting a fucking job? Is that what this is about? <laughs> He's 100% about to fall asleep in that toaster pastry. And I'm just going to let him. No, oh, I can't. I can't do much more for him. He's really stressing me out. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what? I hope you suffocate on it. Penny's grades are slipping. Paul's grades are slipping. I didn't realise I'd not been doing the homework. B plus. Eh. She's still doing all right. Paul's a C, but we don't care about Paul. Penny did bring a friend home from school, though, it said, but where? Oh, sorry, I'm impatient. She was getting off the bus. Let's hang out. I hope I don't have work today. Ah, oh, I do. Of course I do. I've got work every fucking day. I don't, but it just feels like I haven't had a day off now. Oh, Sally, good for you with your good report card. I know I'll tell Penny to shut up about it, but you actually need to get good grades. Otherwise, you're dead. So, good for you. Okay, Dad, can I get you to help annoying with his homework so that he gets better at it? Oh, Penny, you didn't even manage to make a friend in that time. Like, she's got a relationship of 57, which means... That Gwen has a relationship below 50, which also means that Penny does have a grating personality. No one likes her. What is it with you and falling asleep and pissing in the same places all the time? Go to bed. Oh God, I could ignore this, but I'm not going to. It's 3am and Penny is working the drive through all by her lonesome. Lots of responsibility for little pay. Suddenly, the otherwise quiet night is ruined when local rich kid Dudley Landgrab and some of his hoodlum friends pull up. Penny recognises them by the indecent language coming through the tinny speaker. From what she's heard from other employees, Penny is pretty sure they're going to drive off without paying. Should she just fill the order or should she treat them to a bit of their own medicine? Uh... Dudley will respect it if I teach him a lesson, but I, I'm also really scared that this will just immediately get me fired. Fuck it, teach him a lesson. I skipped past it, but basically she served him all food. They left and she got a creativity point. So no firing, which I thought was going to happen. <laughs> hey, Paul, I'm going to make you keep on working through all your backlogged homework. And Penny, I'm so sorry, girl. I'm going to make you do it too. Oh God, she's tired and she's had no fun. Oh, it is the weekend though, actually. She deserves a break. Although I will force her to paint tomorrow. And I need a friend. Uh, Mum is sick with the flu, which means everyone's going to get sick. And that's going to make this even harder. I can finally keep painting and hopefully <laughs> we earn some money. Because this 84 Zimolians is not going to cut it for me. For me. Sorry, I love Forrest Gump, apparently. It's not going to cut it for me, Jenny. You really are incontinent. You're about to piss yourself after this meal. I'm not even going to stop it. <laughs> what is wrong with this man? Yes. You can't say she smells, you smell. Penny, I'm looking after you and only you because everyone else is stressing me out so much. We only need one more friend. Oh, when did I become friends with her? I was not paying attention, clearly. Oh, I can sell it for 52. Sally's got the flu, Paul has the flu. Sally, get the fuck to bed, sweetheart. Okay, thank you, please. I don't want you anywhere near me. Dad, you are not ill, so stay away from Paul. Go and do something fun, like dance, I guess, because <laughs> I broke the TV. Uh, actually, a parental death would be very helpful financially. So if you just repair the TV for me, that'd be just brill. Oh, he's too bored. Go play on the sofa. And once you finish playing, repair the TV. Thank you. Finally, you're good for something other than spreading piss into the carpet. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> He's not going to die, though, I don't think. He should be all right. Don't go back for it, though. Idiot. Oh, the carpool comes. I completely forgot. If I could afford it, I would love to skip work today. Oh, God. The bath is broken, too. Penny's tired. She hasn't done her homework. Have the kids done theirs? I feel like I did make the kids do theirs. And now she's seen cockroaches, and that was a fear, too. And I've lost a friend. <laughs> I don't blame you for crying and for standing in front of that moving car. Oh, this is hard. Okay, Sally's a teenager in two days. Whether we can keep her for that long is another story, because I think we're going to run out of food soon. Oh, hold on. Why have I not sold this? There we go. That was a nice little extra boost to the cash. So I can afford food. Penny, just ignore everyone else. I want you to focus on your needs. Dad, I'm sending you to the toilet because you're about to piss yourself again. When you feel like you need it, just go. You don't need permission from me. You go to that bathroom whenever you want to go to the bathroom. Oh, Penny, you're the only one that doesn't have the flu. Everybody else has it. You got one more day off of school, but she does have work today as well. But if I can manage to make her friends with well i need to refriend gwen and then i'm gonna invite gary over and hopefully i can make him friends quickly hit and complete self for 73 yes mummy's healthy again mummy's sick with the flu <laughs> she must have sneezed out the bug and it just bounced back in call and invite over that guy i can't remember his name while i wait for him to get here i will call gwen just for a chat and then that should be all the friends i need for a promotion ignore all of the cockroaches and all the old rubbish and everything around you oh god we're 64 relationship and we're still not friends <laughs> Please, someone just make this easier. Okay, the bathroom's trashed, but I don't care. We're going to be friends just before I go to work, I think. Yes, did it. Oh, I've lost a friend. <laughs> no, stop hugging him. Good. We're friends again. Oh, my God. I am genuinely, I can feel physically stressed. And it's a game. I need to chill out. <laughs> I know that, but I do really, really feel it. Why is nobody eating or anything? Please. <laughs> can a family survive if a teen earns all their income? Yes but they also forget to eat and die. Oh, there's no food. I'm making a delivery. I don't have the time. Not even groceries. Just give me a pizza and then I'll order groceries on top of that. Oh, I'm worrying. I'm worrying. Everyone's really, really hungry. Take the pizza. Accept delivery. Yes, you are hungry, but you've just put your neck through the meal. So hurry up. <laughs> Please. Oh my God. Someone's going to die. Someone is going to die and it might be me. <laughs> the stress is killing me. Tell you will grow up in one day. No, she won't. Not if she's dead. Just one slice is enough to keep you alive. Why are you always so right annoying? You're really pissing me off. Clean up outside because I'm sick of everyone getting ill. Just stomp on them a million times. I don't know if it actually works. Sally, please come home. Everything's awful when you're not here. Promotion time. Help! <laughs> Someone fucking help me! I don't understand. I had top performance. I've got the friend. I needed fucking logic. I had so much time to get logic. <laughs> The background music sounds really happy. I'm really not. <laughs> I don't want to sell anything because I feel like that's kind of, that's cheating. I can afford that chest serval for 399, but I need groceries and I do probably have bills to pay as well. And maybe I should hire an exterminator. Do you know what? I'm going back to the grocery store. I'm going to buy all the food I can. I'm just going to spend every penny I have. No, because then I won't be able to get the chess. How else can you earn logic? The music being happy when I'm genuinely having a stressful time is not helping me. <laughs> That's as much as I can afford. 454. I'll just do the crossword in the newspaper every day and just hope that we can last until I get this promotion. <laughs> I wonder if anyone in this house has the flu. I just wish there'd be some kind of indication as to whether that is the case. She's having a tantrum and I completely fucking get it. Penny, <laughs> you are going through it right now. She was so mad she T-posed herself into oblivion. We're all good. It saved it when she just put food in the fridge anyway. So now eat this counter pizza and get to sleep. Who's in there? Oh, parents. No, I was going to leave you to it, but get to fuck. I need that bed. Dad, I don't care how stressed you are. Kill these cockroaches, please. I can't even see them. Just spray them all. There we go. That should stop all the kids from staying outside all night trying to step on them. No one's paying enough attention to Sally. I have enough on my plate. No. <laughs> and I don't have a fire alarm. Of course I don't. <laughs> Put it out. Come on. <laughs> I'm having a really bad time, everyone. I think I'm going to skip school. I'm going to let all the kids that are starving to death go to school. But Penny is going to paint. I'm determined to turn this around. So she's going to paint. She's going to sell one painting. She's going to do the crossword in the newspaper. And we're going to get that logic skill point. We're going to get a promotion. And then everything is good. 
Sell that for 88. Is that about the same I get for a day at work? Oh, it's a little bit more. Penny lost a grade by missing school today, but she saved a family. Is that not more important? It's been a so, so week. Speak for your fucking self, dad. I've had a really bad time. Now, how much of this bar will this fill? Oh my God, it barely did anything. I sped through it by accident because I thought it would do more. Where am I going to get logic from? The TV's still broken. I'm selling it for scrap. Oh, it's still only 100. <laughs> well, I tried. Oh, good. You're a teenager. Yeah. All good. You're into formal sporty boys and you hate custom hair. <laughs> Whatever that means. She wants pleasure in life because she's had none so far. So I only need to make sure that he is okay now. I just need a hundred simoleons and then I can get a chest table. I don't need the chairs. I can just move a chair from the kitchen and then I can get that promotion. That sweet promotion is all that is keeping me going. You all need to eat. We have food. I'm going to have to call an exterminator as well, which is more money gone, but I can't stop them from going out there. We charge 10 simoleons initially and then 50 simoleons per hour. That's fine. As long as you only work for 15 minutes, then yeah, yeah. Okay. Everyone who can go to school, go to school because otherwise we're going to starve to death because for whatever reason, no one's feeding themselves. I've taken care of your pest problem. You are now bug free. It didn't cost that much. I didn't really see how much it was, but <laughs> it's not too bad, I don't think. If I don't keep up with my homework assignments, then I'm going to flunk out of high school and my boss says I'm only allowed to hold a part-time job if I keep on top of my studies. <laughs> Sally, I need you to do Penny's homework because that stack is big. I'm just thinking, which is always worrying, but I can use this aspiration reward to get somebody to full needs. What I really need is to get Sally to full needs. And that means she can do the homework, which means we don't lose our job. Do you know what, Sally? We're taking a chance. Go and use this. Maybe it'll work. You are meant to be in gold aspiration for it to boost your needs. But I've got to try. <laughs> I just need to do this homework. No, it's not working. Stop, 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 stop. Can anyone do it? Paul, give it a go. No. Okay. Well, I knew it wasn't going to work. I'm just getting desperate. Penny's return home from work. We're so close. I'll keep this, but I'll stick it outside. I guess we don't need this teddy anymore. 19 simoleons. We'll sell our spices. 10 simoleons. I'm going to smash the back of the house up. Ta-da. <laughs> I do need social, but I can probably get away with not socialising for a little bit to play chess. Or I can boost Paul's social if he plays chess with me. Then Paul can do my homework while I sleep. He's not in the mood. <laughs> Paul, I need you to be in the mood so much. Oh, it doesn't matter. Penny gained a logic skill point anywhere, but I do need to build her social. So can you just get over yourself and go talk to her? Play a kicky bag. Oh my God, someone play a fucking kicky bag before I start kicking off. I'm so, I am so genuinely stressed. I'm going to make Paul stay at home. I'm going to get his needs back up. And I'm going to have someone help me do the homework. This shouldn't be so hard. <laughs> <laughs> but it's really, really hard. Penny is failing and is one of the worst students at school. She's trying her best. Who is this woman? Nikki, talk to me. Not talk to me. Let me play chess with you. Do you know what, actually? Penny, this, as much as I want to look after you, you can't do that. You need to go to work. Maybe if I start satisfying some of Penny's wants, I'll be able to get her to gold aspiration and I can get her in here. Tell jerk to dad. Oh my God, yes, these are so easy. What else? Be best friends with Gary. That one might be a bit harder. Maybe not. I'm going to call him. It's midnight. Please be awake. He is still awake. And I'm best friends with him. And I'm gold aspiration. Oh, everything's turning around. Everything's going great. Now you, get in there. Zap fuck out of yourself. Look at those needs going up. I have never been happier. <laughs> I said me, not her. I don't give a fuck if she's all right. I'm finally feeling all right. Now do your homework and tomorrow's promotion day. Look at that. She's flying through it and she's done. So she might be grade F, but she should get a promotion tomorrow unless the school decide that she's not allowed to have a job anymore because her grades are so bad. And I hope that isn't the case. You can paint now as well. Oh, this is just a breeze. What was everyone worried about? <laughs> this is so easy. Penny's grade F, but let's see what she is when she comes home. She should go back up to at least a D. <laughs> Which isn't great, but it's better than it is now. D plus, never mind. She's doing brilliant. Franny family is no longer a family friend. Which means, mum, you need to call Franny right now, this very second, and be friends with her again. She doesn't have a phone. I'm going to the neighbourhood. <laughs> I'm giving her a phone. I don't even know where she lives. Of course. The minute I come in here, you're playing fucking salsa music. I really don't know what I've made this woman for, but this is definitely something I made. Right, there's your phone. I'm off. I've got no time for you, Franny. Okay, Penny's already at work, but at least now I can talk to Franny and be a friend again. There we go. It was a very short conversation, but <laughs> it still means I have four friends. But does it matter that I didn't have four friends when I first went to work? There we go. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> you've worked hard and now you've reached the top of the culinary career track. Congratulations. I'm not saying that we've done well there, but I am saying I'm done because that was truly awful. <laughs> I've been recording for so long that it is now night time, but that was probably the most stressful playthrough I've ever done on this channel and I'm not even exaggerating. I'm probably going to have to edit a lot of it out because there was one point where I literally had my head in my hands and I couldn't take it anymore and I nearly stopped recording. <laughs> I'm not dramatic, I swear. But thanks for joining me for another one. I hope you enjoyed it. One thing I never remind people of is that you can be notified of what comes out on the channel. So if you do want to press the bell, you can get all notifications for when a new video comes out. And if you don't subscribe already, please do. It does really help me. But I will catch you in the next one. So I'll see you then.